Hello everyone, welcome back to a sprout haul. So I'm not even gonna show my face. This is a quick haul and I just wanted to address a couple questions I got in my last Aldi haul, which is where do you get all of your produce? So typically I like to buy mostly organic and so I shop at Sprouts for that and the local farmer's market around my house. So I just wanted to do a quick little haul and share with you guys everything I got this week at Sprouts. A lot of stuff was on sale once again and I'm so excited when I go into that store. I just absolutely love it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Starting here with some blueberries. So they had a two for $7 deal for the pints, so they're much larger. Benson loves blueberries, so I'm glad that I could get two for seven. And then the raspberries were two for five for the organic, so got those as well. I always give these a sniff test and these smelled amazing. So I like to do like a berry bowl mix for him when I have both. So I'll do like blueberries and raspberries in a bowl for him. And I also got some organic avocados. These, I typically don't do organic, but these were on such a great sale. It was like three for five, so, and they're really large. So that's why I grabbed those. I love avocado on pretty much anything. So when there's a good sale, I'm gonna grab it and go. Also got some organic on the vine tomatoes, some um, yummy kiwis. Can I think of the name? <laughs> these are great for a lot of different things, but I know that they have a ton of nutrients and vitamins in here. They even have it on here. More potassium than a banana, more vitamin E and vitamin K than an avocado, more vitamin C than an orange, more fiber than a than the leading cereal brand. So I've heard great things about kiwis. Like they're like the perfect fruit. So I decided to grab some. The last time I bought kiwis from Sprouts though, they never ripened and I ended up throwing an entire thing away. They stayed hard for like a month and um, never were edible. So hopefully these are better than the, the ones that I bought previously. Also got some cucumbers. We love dipping our cucumbers in hummus. So that's a favorite of ours. And then I got a ton of bagged salad. So this is my new favorite thing. Unfortunately, these are not organic, but they had a sale right now, three for 10. So I got six bags and oopsie, I accidentally got two of the same. I totally didn't mean to. There was another bag that had avocado in it. I think it was like a guacamole salad and I meant to grab that one, but I accidentally got two of the same. So, oh well. Hopefully it's good. I think I've had this before. They also had the dill pickle chop salad kit. So yum. I love this salad. Obviously the everything chopped kit, which I get at Costco, but this is like a smaller version of it, or probably it's like half the size. And I love having this on hand at all times. I got the Southwest chop kit as well. I've tried this one. Um, I think this is the one I got at Aldi, I'm pretty sure. And this one was really good. And then I got this one for Tim, the bacon Caesar chop salad. He loves Caesar salads, but um, he likes bacon even more. So had to get that one for him. And they have this amazing sale right now. So if you're looking for some new salad kits to try, you might wanna check out Sprouts and see what they have. They have a ton of salads, way more than what I got but I just picked my favorite, so that's why I grabbed those. And, oh, and then of course, got some apples. Oops, got some apples, and I didn't get organic. I was looking, they didn't have many organic apples actually available, but Benson typically likes me to peel the skin off anyway, so I figured if I'm peeling the skin off, most of those pesticides hopefully are gonna get chopped off. And I know the skin's really good for you. I try to convince him, but try convincing a six-year-old that you know something's good for them and see if they'll eat it anyways. I, I somehow haven't figured that one out yet, but these sugar bees smelled so good and they smell like, it says, oh honey, and they smell kind of like honey. So I'm really excited to try them. I'm gonna try them too. Um, because we love apples in this house. Now, what fell back here? So I got, we've been having some sicknesses in the house, some illnesses, and I am like on a mission to get the family back and healthy before the holidays really hit. So I try, I wanted to try these out. They're called Once Upon a Farm. These are refrigerated and it's a an immunity blend. This one has pineapple, banana, and dragon fruit with probiotics, which I love to see. And then this one was um, apple, cherry, and elderberry. These are cold pressed. And like I said, in the refrigerated section, I'll give you a quick sneak peek on the back in case you're curious. I'm sure adults can have these as well. They're not just 
just for kids, um, but they're easy to get some of these nutritional um, vitamins and minerals in their diet, especially when your kid's sick and they don't wanna eat anything. I've found that like fruit pouches, fruit in general is really good to get, um, at least my son, he hates to eat while he's sick. I mean, nobody really likes eating when they're sick and it's hard to convince a child to eat um, to make them have energy to feel better. But we're gonna try these out. Let's hope that he likes them. Now, going along with the sick train here, they had these on sale. They're the elderberry zinc lozenger, lozenges. They have seven herbs and blends, plus sweet elderberry. Um, and I figured, why not? Let's, let's all have some zinc lozenges in the house and try to stay healthy. Now I'm coming over here. The sun is shining through right now. Um, so I got this Evolution. We've loved this brand. We've got it before. It's the Organic Defense Up Orange Apple Mango Pineapple Acerola Cherry. And this is cold pressed as well. And it's basically just kind of helping bring those defenses up. Also got some huge gallons, or they're not even gallons, what are they? They are like two point something liters, and I figured if Tim can drink these, because he's not feeling well, just to get your water intake in, that's great. And if you see what's behind me, I'm baking, so you see all that baking stuff. Um, cookie day is coming up. Also, speaking of water, I found these really beautiful glass bottles, and I thought those would be nice, again, just to like have by the bed. Um, we do have filtered water in our house, but for some reason it's easier to drink water when the um, bottles are right next to you and ready to go. So that's why I grabbed those. Now to some of the teas I picked up. So traditional med medicinals is a tea I'm very familiar with and I really like. Um, I got the Breathe Easy because Tim has been having like a cough that won't quit. So I wanted to get those to see to see if it works. I don't know. Um, and then I also got the Nighty Night Extra with the Valerian and I know this really helps put you to sleep. Um, once again, it's been, you know, when you're sick, it's really hard to fall asleep and feel comfortable. So I'm just trying it all. I'm, I'm throwing it all out there. And then of course the immune zoom elderberry echinacea, um, just, I want to have this on hand anyways, because it's the winter and it's important to have some of this stuff just ready to go. But I'm, like I said, I am willing to do anything, whatever it takes. Now to some sale items. These were, I think two for five. So I got the teriyaki noodle bowl and the yakisoba noodle bowl. Um, I felt like they had a lot of other options. They had a ramen one, which I love ramen, but they only had the spicy one left. They didn't have the original. And I was afraid it was gonna be like too spicy for me and not enjoyable. Sometimes things are too spicy and I just cannot enjoy them. And if you wanna see the nutrition facts, I'll just flip these over for you guys if you're curious on like the sodium and stuff like that. Um, here you go, nutrition facts and nutrition facts for those. So I'm excited. I like some of these easy to make meals, especially when your family's sick and you're like running around and I feel like I'm on empty right now. As excited as I sound, cause I love to grocery shop, but I'm still feeling real tired. Um, I also got some Watkins black pepper. My mom swears by this brand. I talked about this in my Target haul because I got Watkins vanilla, um, but this is a really great pepper. It's very fine and it tastes amazing. So um, grab that because that was on sale also. Then I wanted to try these um, pinto refried beans, salsa style. This is the Sprouts brand. They're organic, um, pretty pricey for just some plain old pinto beans, but I like that they were organic. They're ready to go too, so you just microwave them and it's so easy. So I wanted to try them out, see if I liked them, if it's worth the price or not. And then these were also on sale. I really was curious by this one. It's called Unicorn Edition Magical Lemon Cupcake and it's the Hum Probiotic Kombucha. And then also we have the elderberry one, which I got for Tim. And I love that it's on here. It's all about, there's vitamin B12 and there's probiotics, which are super important just to stay healthy. Like gut health is so important. And I feel like that is a culprit in a lot of these illnesses. It's just like making sure you're taking care of your gut. 
So we're starting there and we're working our way up. And then I had to get some more Parmesan. So I am trying this brand out. I don't feel like I've ever tried this brand, but when I was looking on all the Parmesans they offer, this one just looked nice and fresh. And I liked how like thinly sliced it was. So I figured I would give this a try, see how it tastes. And then so many of you guys recommended the good culture cottage cheese. Cause I showed you, I got the good um, sour cream last time. And I, I always listen to you and you all told me to try this. So I can't wait to give this a try and see how it tastes. I'm not kidding. Like I think three to four people mentioned how good their cottage cheese is. So I'm probably going to actually dig into this after this haul. And actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to try it right now. So here it is. And I got the full fat version because I feel like a couple people said try the full fat. They do have a low fat one too. Um, I'm not going to show my face. Trust me, you don't want to see it. I've been um, like a nurse and a mom and a wife and taking care of the house. So let me try this. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. You guys are right. That's really salty. I think that's why I really like it. Um, there's a lot of salty flavor on that. The curds are small, which I also like, and it has just like this amazing creamy texture. Yum. Um, I'm kind of sad that I like this because this was $5 and I was like, am I really paying $5 for cottage cheese? And then I thought, yes, I am. I'm going to try it. I want to see if I like it. And I do, darn it. Um, it tastes so good. So hopefully they have sales. I'm sure they do. Right now they have their sour cream on sale. So um, maybe soon they'll have the cottage cheese and I can stock up because this is delicious. Um, thank you to all that recommended it. You guys are spot on. Now I also had to get some eggs. A lot of you know I have chickens and right now they're pretty much in a molting phase which lasts pretty much all the cold weather. So they don't produce eggs. Normally they do, but because it's so cold, they are not. And that means I have to buy eggs. Like I said, I'm doing some baking and I'm doing a bunch of cookies. So I needed to get some eggs for that. And I just didn't want to get them from any old store. I like the pasture raised eggs. The Sprouts brand was the cheapest. I can't even believe how expensive eggs are. I was looking at them all and there's like eggs for 10 nine eight dollars and i'm like geez louise that is crazy i just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money when i have chickens they're just not producing right now so um sprouts came through these are 3.99 still a little pricey for eggs but i think that's just kind of like the nature of what we're all feeling right now which is inflation so um pa pasture raise is my favorite and i don't think these ones are, are organic but that's okay because i'm baking with them so no big deal. If I was buying them to eat, I'd try to look for pasture raised organic, but baking is irrelevant to me. Um, and then there's a couple frozen items I wanted to give a go. I've tried this Alpha brand before and they're okay. I'm not like totally in love with the brand, but they're all right. I just thought this chicken pesto sounded really good. It's obviously plant-based and it has um, meatless chicken, dairy-free mozzarella and veggies with basil pesto. And in this house, we are basil lovers. So definitely wanted to try that. 13 grams of protein and it's ready in three minutes. Thank you very much. I will definitely take, oh, and an excellent source of iron, which is important. Iron is hard to get when you're vegetarian. I always think it's funny when people ask, how do you get your protein? And I'm like, um, protein is not the issue. It's the iron. And a lot of leafy greens have a good amount of iron in them. So uh, if you're looking for more iron, maybe check out this. Now I did get the taquitos last time and I tried the chicken ones. I loved. Now I wanted to try the beefy ones. So um, I'm going to try them. Now one thing I will say, just eating them as is did not satisfy me. I just slathered them in salsa and they were so good. I showed you, um, if you watched my Aldi haul, I showed you the salsa I've been using and I love that salsa with these taquitos. So if you're looking to get these, just know that it definitely needs like a dipping sauce for them. So here's the nutrition facts in case you were curious and the ingredient list. And it does have expeller pressed canola oil. That's good. I didn't realize that when I first got it. And then the last item I grabbed, these obviously, by the way, these are all three frozen items. These are the Rebellious Foods plant-based nuggets. So I haven't tried this brand, but um, my son Benson, he likes plant-based nuggets and I'm always willing to try some new ones just to see how they go. Um, and it's good to have them on hand. So these were on sale, wanted to try them. Here's the back in case you were curious. And 
yeah, that is it for this week's haul. Um, now I'm still doing an Aldi haul. I wanted to do another Aldi haul because I'm going to get all my baking ingredients in that video. So stay tuned for Friday and we will have a taste test to follow. But I thought this one would be just like a little in between, especially because a lot of you guys were asking where we get our produce and, um, Sprouts is one of those places that has like a ton of great organic options. So that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, which is Friday. And it's going to be, like I said, an Aldi haul. See you then. Aww.